Sea of Galilee is the Jordan River, the northern part of the Jordan River, not the southern part. Because the Jordan River con comes into the sea and goes also out of the sea, continues south to the Dead Sea. Okay? 212 meters, today it's 212 meters below sea level. This area used to be the main source of water for the whole country, I'm repeating it. Okay? The level of the water start going down because we are using it so much. But Israel developed a new way of desalinating the sea water, the Mediterranean Sea, and it's doing it with a very low coast. Okay? Now, around the Sea of Galilee, we have there the Kunan Heights. The Kunan Heights are around there. Okay? I showed you, it's now really very hazy. You can't see a lot. But all of the mountains there are the Gulan Heights. Now, in the northern part of it, northwestern side of it, where we are now, we will be visiting today Kfar Nahum, where Jesus made many miracles. In the Gulan Heights, Jesus made one of the miracles in an area called Kursi. This is when he went to a cave and unchained a man who was chained in a cave because he had a lot of demons on him. So he unchained him and 40 pigs went out of him, threw themselves into the Sea of Galilee. This is the sea that Jesus walked on. Jesus, after he made the miracle of the multitude, when he fed the 5,000 people, he walked on the sea. He walked on the sea, not for a show of, Okay, they walked on the sea to show the people, to show the disciples the faith in God. You want them to follow God blindly. This sea sometimes can really get very rough. Very rough. You can see it now as a fresh water, very cold, but sometimes it can get very rough. Until now, sometimes it can get really very rough. And this is when Jesus called the sea. We will read a little bit from the Bible about the Sea of Galilee. But I want you to feel the place because Jesus spent most of his ministry here on the Sea of Galilee. On the Sea of Galilee. On the shores of the Sea of Galilee, many miracles happened. So his ministry started here. When he left Nazareth, he came to live here, in St. Peter's house. It's around the Sea of Galilee too. Okay? I don't want to talk too much. Let's read a little bit from the Bible. And then... Immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on a mountain by himself to pray. And when evening had come, he was alone there. But the boat was now in the middle of the sea, tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary. Now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost, and they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, 
command me to come to you on the water. So he said, Come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hands and caught him and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those who were in the boat came and worshipped and worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. So, konting reflection. So, sabi dito sa Gospel, uh, biglang sabi niya din, very rough ito, na? So, scientifically speaking, bakit laging very rough ito? If you look at yung paligid, full of mountains. So, natural tendency of wind is to come here. So, pag nagsabay-sabay from coming from one direction na malakas ang hangin, bababa yan sa bundok. So, katama dito. So, it becomes so rough. So, kung saan man siya nandito. So, yan. Yeah, no? Tapos, second, we have seen that uh, on their own, on their own, ang bangka, kahit madami sila at sama-sama, lulubog because of the vicissitudes of life, because of the mga, mga unexpected circumstances in life. At kung titignan natin, it's always like that. But what is important is this. If we could recognize the presence of Jesus, nandyan lang sa tabi-tabi. No? Kaya pag sinabi, naglalakad si Jesus or whatever, tapos sasabihin ni Pedro, kung talaga ikaw yan, lalapit ako. Ikaw, lapit ka. So, kahit na anong mangyari sa buhay, always remember, just look for the presence of Jesus. He is there. All we have to do, no? All we have to do is to seek for His presence. And once we realize that Jesus is just in our midst, then the storm will come down. So, isa-isa ng mga learnings natin sa pag-uwi natin, although simula pa lang tayo, but For all the vicissitudes of life, kung maguluman ang buhay, always seek for the presence of God. And there you will find peace. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you for that. Thank you. Gospel according to Mark. 
People were bringing the little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples were scolding them. For this, Jesus became indignant when he noticed it and said to them, Let the children come to me and do not hinder them. It is to just such as this that the kingdom of God belongs. I assure you that whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a little child shall not enter into it. Then he embraced them and blessed them, placing his hands upon them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Now we do the renewal of baptismal of vows. Dear brothers and sisters, we have come here. We will do now the renunciation of sin. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Yes, yes we reject. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Yes, yes we reject. Do you reject Satan, the father of sin and prince of darkness? Yes, we reject. Now the renewal of baptismal vow. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Yes, we believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, who yes, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Yes, we believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Yes, this is our faith, the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Ngayon, bababa na ako isa-isa. Dala nyo yung pangano nyo, ha? Ayun ang bahala. Hindi, yung pangpan nyo. Punas nyo sa ulo nyo, ha? Pakuna muna, bababa. Kayo na ang mga lulubog sa uli. Akin na muna yung pangpan. Uli na kayo. Kayo mga nakaputi na kayo. Oh, oh, para makunan ko mo ako. Pila tayo. Nakado sa bag niya to, Dad. Ayun o. Ikaw na lang. Ikaw na lang. Kamera mo na lang. Antay nyo na lang, antay nyo na lang dyan. Pakisabi lang dyan. Kahit magpaalas na kayo. Dapat si Padre, dapat yung lulit ko na. Dito ka na lang dyan. Ababa-baba ka kasi nakapapaalas. Malamit ko yan. Sabi, buti kikat ko dito na lang. Ito po. Ha? Ito po. Para nakukunan ng ayos ang pictures. 
where we work yeah. yes this is the church of annunciation nearby it nearby it we have a we have an old synagogue this synagogue this synagogue was used by jesus and he preached on a saturday now jesus you know he knew about the old testament he knew it by heart he knew everything that's why people were listening to him when he was talking. People were following him. Now on a Saturday when he started talking, some of the rabbis there, they grabbed him and they came all the way and they wanted to throw him from here. That's why we call it Mount Presence. Now we don't have any church built here, but Pop who came here in 2000, uh, 1964, he came here also. A, uh, that was John Paul VI, and also in 2000 he came here, the Pope visited here, and in 2013. So it's a very important location, it's a very important story to know about. Now we read it from the Bible. Father, do you want to, do you want to read it from here or from your? So he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. And he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah, and when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down, and the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. And so all bore witness to him and marveled at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is this not Joseph's son? And he said to them, You will surely say this proverb to me, Physician, heal yourself. Whatever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in your country. And he said, Assuredly, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you truly, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there was a great famine throughout the land. But no one of them was, but to none of them was Elijah sent except to Zarepta, in the region of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisha the prophet, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. Then all those in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city. And they led him to the brow of the hill on which their city was built, that they might throw him down over the cliff. Then passing through the midst of them, he said, he went his way. The Gospel of the Lord. So now, my dear brothers and sisters, again, now we are, we are here in the Mount Precipice. We're in people during the time of Jesus after hearing the word of God written in the book of Isaiah and the word of Jesus that today this prophecy was fulfilled in your hearing so it is now happening Jesus was telling them now it is happening 
Suddenly, they ask him, you do the miracles you have been doing. Here, do it now. But Jesus said, no prophet is accepted in this whole time. And then they get mad and they are going to throw him on the precipice. I think it's here, it's on this side. I, I, I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> But, but always remember, no? Uh, good things happen, but it all depends. The effect of it depends on the hearts of each man. Look at what happened when someone just said everybody was already expectant of the word of Jesus, the preaching, and the, the, the stories they have been hearing many places about Jesus but when someone said is he not the, the, the son of Joseph is he not the son of Mary is he not our then something happened then with this so my dear brothers and sisters look everybody we are always we want to hear the word of God but there is always this other word which counters this word of God. So please always remember we hear only the word of God, not the other word, not the word of man, not the word of the world, not the word of anything. It's always the word of God. Because people are willing to kill because of this other word. So be careful. What we utter in our mouth, be careful. Let it be only the word of God. So that instead of breaking, instead of destroying, let us build relationship, let us build the church, let us build community, let us build uh, everything we build. Because it is very difficult to build. But look at the trees. 100 years, but to turn this down, you only need 10 minutes. See? Okay, huh? always remember, always listen to the word of God, not the other word. Amen? Amen! Amen. Uh, you go to the... And this is when San Joseph also, the angel, came to San Joseph when he was sleeping and told him to run away to Egypt. Why? Because of the massacre of the innocent. You heard about the massacre of the innocent? Yes. We yes. talk about it also in Bethlehem. When we go to Bethlehem to visit the Church of the Nativity. Then, when Herod the Great died, Joseph and Jesus went back to Nazareth, and they are working uh, in the carpet. John the Baptist baptized Jesus. No, that's Father Bon. <laughs> oh, that's what yesterday. 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 And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. It's one. Yes. Okay. Raising the, raising people, curing people, preaching. Okay. To the people also in Nazareth. The boat. And the boat. Of course. And this is when Jesus was crucified. Uh, excuse me. Yes, additional, something additional. Uh, the boat, nowadays, meaning if you see the symbol of the boat, meaning it is the church. Oh. Yeah? Oh. So one of the many symbols of the church is the boat. boat. Meaning we are all in this boat. Okay? Yes. Okay? Okay. <laughs> now. <coughs> so, the horse. Yeah. The horse. Now we're going yeah. inside. Where did that one? Traditionally, we know it happened in Jerusalem. In Mount Moriah, as you can do right now. This is when Abraham wanted to sacrifice Mary. Now, we all know that the branch of a tree is the sign of life and peace. 
But why did we get, how did we get this idea? We get it from the time of the great flood, when at the end, the equation came holding a branch, small branch of olive tree, wrote it, and this means that peace came and it's the end of the flooding. Okay, until now, until now, we know that the branch, the olive branch is the sign of peace. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Another expl explanation for that uh, uh, leads, meaning so when, when, when the dove went out of the ark and he, uh, the dove picked up a branch, meaning the flood but ceased it's already, ready. it's no longer there's there, water. it's no, no longer, water. there's no more water. No more flood. Yeah. So this is peace. Okay, so until now, the branch of peace is the sign of, the branch of olive. It's fine. What about the one above? The one above. Uh, the, the one above is it's also from the Old Testament. Genesis. It's also here from the Old Testament. Uh, they are talking here about stories that happened uh, when, the, when, the, when, uh, when, uh, when one of the persons in the Old Testament, Father reminded me with his name, that was digging for uh, burying his brother. <coughs> Kael, uh, no. Joseph. No, no, no. I remember his name. I'll tell you later about it. I remember it. Uh, uh, and they buried also. That's Adam and Eve. 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 Yes. And the fruit that they took. And the snake. Yes. Cain and Abel. No, no, no. Forbidden no, no, tree. No, no. Yes. Cain and Abel. We don't know what's the name. Cain and Abel. Fruit. We say fruit. Maybe fruit of life. Maybe something. We don't know. What's the fruit of life? We don't know. But the important one is that one now. St. Johannes, my eagle. So there, that is the symbol of each, yes. each gospel writer. So if you see the image of eagle, meaning St. John, I'm really signifying that, okay? Okay. Is it a little like color table? Actually, this information is very important because really no one knows about those small things, okay? Only father. 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 Thank you. 
mo sa isusuot, ha? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, but guys, faster, faster. Guys, faster, they're gonna close. Okay, faster. Can you finish? Can you finish? Okay. Yeah, can you take us a video or photo? Okay, faster, please. Faster. From the left, from the left, from here. To the manger. Yes. Okay, guys, please, quickly. Go to the left, to the manger first. Go to the left side. Thank you. Go to the left. Two by two, two by two, two by two. Those who finish, please exit that way. Procession will start. Yes, we know. We know, we know. You will go. Okay, go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You can't stay there forever. It's going to be a Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hi guys, we are with each other love nativity, so you see it's like a Christmas tree. Thank you. 